Corporal Nathan Cirillo died while unarmed, standing guard at the monument to the sacrifices of Canada's military. Today, 48 hours after he was gunned down, the barricades were removed and the crowds returned, all in his honour to say thank you and goodbye. Tonight, the body of the 24-year-old corporal was returned home, but not alone. His route, the aptly named Highway of Heroes, was lined by thousands, all wanting to pay tribute. Tonight, our Ioana Romeliotis is in Hamilton, Corporal Cirillo's final destination. Ioana? Wendy, the trip home for Corporal Nathan Cirillo was a long and sad one. Along the way, Canadians lined up to see him go. It was a final formal salute. Two days after he was gunned down in cold blood, Corporal Nathan Cirillo's remains left Ottawa today. His devastated family there to take him home. The escort set off for the long drive to Hamilton, waiting to see him off too. So many Canadians who felt they had to be here. It's been very surreal, um, very surreal. I can't even put it into words. I felt compelled to be here. I'm devastated by what's happened to Ottawa and our country, and I don't think things will ever be the same. Canada's Highway of Heroes. It's a familiar, grim procession for Canada's fallen, usually reserved for those killed in combat abroad. Two soldiers killed this week marks a new type of sacrifice, a new threat much closer to home. The military has asked for this to be a tribute to both of them. I just think we need to show our respect for someone who's protecting our country. 24-year-old Cirillo was a reservist who dreamed of becoming a full-time soldier. He was also a devoted single father to a five-year-old boy. In his hometown, outside his regiment, tributes, a mountain of them already, keep pouring in. The assault on unsuspecting soldiers was unimaginable to Canadians, but the outpouring of grief and support came with an outpouring of resolve as well. To us it's very important, because one of our sons died. One of our sons got killed today. I think we should all be out here today. This is someone who was shot in cold blood. Back in Hamilton, the nearby Albion Falls were lit red in remembrance, and hundreds gathered for their soldiers' return. Outside Cirillo's parents' home, Cirillo's stepfather stood by quietly while the military read a family statement. There are no words to express the sadness that has fallen upon us all. We take comfort knowing Nathan has done our country proud. The support of the nation in this devastating time provides a measure of comfort and helps make this almost bearable. Nathan was Canada's son. He belonged to all of us. <laughs> And with that, a long day, a long trip ended as night fell and a soldier finally made it back home. Visitation will begin at this funeral home on Sunday. Hundreds, if not thousands, are expected to turn up to pay their respects. A military funeral will be held on Tuesday. Wendy? Thanks so much, Joanna. Joanna Romiliotis tonight.